wild horse girl where they end up saying they love bang meets the cliff face mm. well that's just then the earthman becomes aware of that his chest is caked with dried blood I'm getting ripped out by that stalactite carton trying to get his monkey arm into his uh, past up there archives chamber yeah nasty fall on Strips off his hiking clothes, submerges naked in the ah, refreshing Aegean. Yeah. We're surprised how warm the water is. Soothing. November? Hmm. Well, Rose does get 300 degrees, uh, 300 days of sun a year. And that's why the Colossus of Rhodes was Elios. Mm -hmm. The sun god. Uh, well, the persistent ache in uh, Shiva's knee uh, hurting badly after his extremely physical day. Yeah, he's got bone rubbing on bone in his kneecap somewhere. He's kind of got a rash in what he does every day to about 90 minutes of walking. What's the most important? Let's go out to the cave. Who cares about my aches and pains? Yeah. Um, he, he's worked 20 years as a domestic servant in America to survive. House cleaner, declutterer, -er, taking a toll on his body. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. For Earthman to be young and free and strong again, pain-free like he was when I met him when he was 21 in that Tibetan monastery in the remote Himalayas. <laughs> yeah. He sure doesn't take walking for granted anymore, huh? Ambulation. <laughs> Pretty magical until you can't walk that good mm. yeah uh well he medicates with marijuana mm. to soothe his arthritis mm. but greece greece has become so retrograde in freedom uh that uh earth man has to wi uh, wisely shun a uh, marijuana all together uh, during his uh, reunion with his cave. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I'm in an earth body, so I can't feel. <laughs> Pact of the life of human beings, huh? We angels don't have that. We can shape shift. Telepathy, you had no problem, time travel, but to feel and to fuck with your heart open all the way. I hope you earthlings realize what a divine miracle that all is. Oh, look, okay, for one final time, I'm going to flash back a little bit to give you the day in the life of Earthman in the cave because we're never coming back, never telling this story again. So, um, as we float buoyantly in the salt water, <laughs> yeah, the old Ganesh cave routine for my Shiva. Mm -hmm. During his 20, 20s, Earthman lived in the cave for months at a time. Yeah. Um, without a care in the world. Uh, he meditates in the inner chamber on bare wooden uh, planks, no pattern. And the following day, he hangs out uh, in the Bay of St. Nicholas, right here uh, at Wild Horse Cove, by himself, and uh, uh, does not speak, does not make any human sound with his mouth, even to himself, just 
Free to enjoy naked swim. That's how he washes up. Gets the cave dust off him. <laughs> Without losing the spiritual bubble. That he's created for himself. Yeah. Sustained by his extreme isolation. Yeah. He reads wisdom books like Bhagavad Gita, The Life Divine, out loud to the surrounding nature. That's his exception to speak when he's reading sacred spiritual books on his cave patio. Yeah, he reads out loud then uh, and savors another, a second calm night alone in his cave. Hmm? Yeah by himself but after two nights by himself <laughs> he's hungry for food and human company uh, lonely for human connection so on the second morning he descends the cave to the beach <laughs> where he savors a swim like we're doing right now and uh, he washes up from the salt water and then meanders through. Uh, well, he's counted them. There's seven fields of various kinds of wallflowers <laughs> to get from his cave to <laughs> the path to Lindo's. So gorgeous. The springtime. Mm. And he's created tracks from his own walking. Uh, well, in town, what does he do? He hangs out on the beach, Lindo's beach, gorgeous. White sandy Mediterranean beach, smoked hashish with other world travelers. And, uh, yeah, on if he's relishing a um, hippie chick love affair at the time, his visit to town may be blessed with an erotic interlude. <coughs> uh, erotic intermission. But as the sun begins to set, Earthman scurries around town, uh, you know, gets some water, gets some provisions, and he makes it back to his cave every night, regardless of the weather. I mean, he can find his way to the cave in starlight. Mm -hmm. Don't need a moon when you're that intimate with Earth. He has grown eyes in his feet for getting to his cave, yeah. Huh? Well, okay. Mm. Back to the here and now. We splash naked. Pure turquoise water. Love those goes. Suspiciously warm in November. Well, Rhodes is warmer than Northern Africa in the winter. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And I bliss out, I'm telling you, with tingly skin sensations. Ooh, uh, and we float all night long, marveling at being alive. In a human body. How did I end up with these ten fingers? It started out millions of years ago when that fish climbed up onto the rock and then flew into the sky as a bird and it's ended up. You know, most people, they're just like so paralyzed with the stupid, uh, glazed over, non appreciative uh, <laughs> ignorance. They never even catch a clue what a miracle their existence is. Yeah, you're throwing dirt over their coffin. They still never even had a hint. What? That they had a soul in the first place? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we emerge body within body. 
Shiva Shakti, male, female. And, uh, you know, we're kind of getting ready for our what we call our uh, yin-yang uh, switch uh, back maneuver. <laughs> when we, uh, we alternate taking control over the system of this miraculous body I was just speaking of. Uh, because look, at, uh, I'm not native to Earth, <laughs> and we get near a lot, through a lot of people and noise and confusion. I'm like a cat; I just like go under the porch until things quiet down. <laughs> so um, naturally, Earthman feels from the inside my shyness mm -hmm. within him. Uh, so way beyond thought or anything like that, uh, we perform our yin, yang. Switchback maneuver. And uh, he, himself, Earthman, <laughs> the male, that big monkey, huh? that smarty pants monkey, he takes over again, yeah. Uh, and nobody knows the difference. It's, you know, it's like, what? Uh, who cares uh, from other people's point of view? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Earthman, now, he's the Lord in his spiritual kingdom again. <laughs> How about that? Uh, and he confidently and uh, with pride uh, repossesses his human body. I mean, you're kind of used to it. Uh, and I am content as a female goddess from another dimension. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, I am content to uh, withdraw and uh, become invisible again from within. Uh huh. And I'm so content. I, I need to take a breather. <sighs> Earth legs, intense uh, human habitation, uh, sex, hippie chicks, uh, Cleopatra. It, it was fun being Cleopatra and fucking Earth men. <laughs> this is Earth, Earth woman legs, huh? Yeah. Oh, civilizations have come and gone because of <laughs> uh, Helena Troy, huh? When she went down on you, huh? Build a Trojan horse just to wait till I tell my homies from my two planets <laughs> yeah, about Earth sex. <clears throat> uh, Earthman now leads the way along the beach. Uh huh. Uh, in, yeah, in a blink, huh? Switch occurs beside a rocky wall in St. Nicholas Bay. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, and uh, God's Earthy fades back into the human body of her Earth man lover. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guide. I, Earth man. <laughs> guide my goddess uh, along the beach not too difficult you know there's the water and there's the land the middle path along the edge of the shore for sure Tibetan Buddhism lesson there uh, And uh, I find a shorter pathway to Lindos uh, by way of this, oh, there's a fantasy landscape where they cut out the big uh, stones to make the Acropolis above Lindos. 2,000 years ago, they, then the creeper vines came over, the fig trees. I love walking through there. Huh? Yeah, I show Earthy that. The old quarry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is sort of a general shout out. If you're still uh, confused by enter any of this like otherworldly spirit within a human body phenomenon, 
Do yourself a favor and read the book, There Are No Foreign People. It's all about Goddess Earth, how Earth Man and Goddess Earth found each other, how they've lived together for 50 years, and uh, yeah. Because in that book, Goddess Earth will take you by the hand and guide you down an interdimensional pathway from which there is no return. Your straight life is over at that point. Yeah. Mm. What deliverance? Interdimensional lifestyle is becoming increasingly familiar. Um, you know, all the, the youngsters are uh, vaping dimethyltryptamine and seeing all these little creatures and automatons. And yeah, makes it easier for them to possibly hook up with divine energy guides. We're talking subtle plane? Subtle plane. Archetypal guides. Yeah, awareness is its own blessing. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But I am. A divine soul. <laughs>